Have you ever felt like someone you trusted was using you, treating you like a tool instead of a friend? It's a tough spot to be in, especially when you genuinely believe in the goodness of others. But there are clues hidden in their actions and words that reveal their true intentions. In this video, we'll dig into these toxic behaviors, focusing on seven key attitudes that scream, I'm not here for you. I'm just using you. It's time to uncover those fake friends in your life. Stick with us, and we'll help you navigate this tricky terrain. And hey, if you want to create a healthier space for yourself and learn how to spot and distance yourself from toxic influences, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got your back. Human connections can be messy, right? We meet all sorts of people along the way. Some lift us up, while others drag us down. Spotting someone who's using us isn't always easy. But recognizing these attitudes is the first step in realizing our own worth and setting boundaries that protect it. As we journey through this maze of relationships, it's important to remember one thing. You deserve friendships that give back as much as they take. If this resonates with you, join us on this quest for insight and growth. In building healthier and more meaningful relationships, it's crucial to honor and understand both your own needs and those of others. Think about this. You're there for someone whenever they need you, offering support, lending a listening ear, or helping out whenever possible. But when you're the one in need, suddenly they're nowhere to be found. Messages go unanswered, calls are ignored, and if they do respond, it's with a quick change of subject. This pattern creates an uneven dynamic where you're constantly giving without receiving much in return. It's not just about being ignored, it's about feeling disregarded and unimportant. It's like you're only valuable when it's convenient for them. Recognizing this behavior is the first step. Ask yourself, is this relationship truly balanced and enriching? Or are you just a convenient resource for the other person? It's about respecting yourself enough to set boundaries and expect mutual respect in return. Another warning sign is when someone shows little interest in you as a person. Genuine friends care about your life, your feelings, and your experiences. But when someone only seems interested in themselves, it's a clear indication that your value to them is based on what you can offer, not who you are. This realization can be tough, but it's necessary for preserving your self-worth. Are you truly in a relationship where your thoughts and feelings matter? Or are you just a background character in someone else's story? Let's talk about using guilt as a tool for manipulation, something that can really put a strain on relationships. Picture this. You're in a situation where you constantly feel like you owe someone something. Maybe it's because they've guilt-tripped you into saying yes to their request one too many times. They might play on your emotions, saying things like, if you really cared about me, you'd do this for me. These tactics are like emotional traps, designed to make you doubt yourself and feel obligated to meet their demands. It's a tough spot to be in because you want to be a good friend or partner, but you also don't want to feel like you're being manipulated. Recognizing these tactics is key. Healthy relationships are built on trust and respect, not on guilt and manipulation. If you find yourself caught in this cycle, it's crucial to take a step back and reassess the dynamics of the relationship. Setting boundaries becomes essential. You have every right to protect your own well-being and stand up against manipulation. It's about finding a balance between being there for someone and maintaining your own emotional health. By recognizing these manipulative behaviors and asserting your boundaries, you're taking an important step towards fostering healthier and more genuine connections. Remember, you deserve relationships based on trust and mutual respect, not on guilt and manipulation. Pay attention to when they persistently refuse to show you any form of respect. Respect is essential in any relationship, but when someone repeatedly cancels plans or disregards your time, it's a sign of disrespect. This behavior shows that they don't value your needs or your time. While everyone can act selfishly at times, it's the consistent lack of respect that's concerning. It's important to be aware of these signs and assert your boundaries to protect yourself from being exploited. As we delve deeper into understanding relationships, it's crucial to recognize these warning signs and take action to maintain healthier connections. Remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. Another clear indication is superficial bonding. Think of superficial bonding as dipping your toes into a relationship without ever taking the plunge. It's like having those casual chats that never quite go beyond the surface. You might chat about the latest Netflix show or the funny thing that happened at work, but there's always this unspoken agreement to keep things light. You start to notice a pattern where every conversation feels like small talk, never delving into the heart of what truly matters. 
It's as if the other person is afraid to show their true self, preferring to keep a safe distance from anything too personal or vulnerable. Maybe you've tried to share your hopes, fears, or dreams, only to be met with a polite nod or a quick change of subject. It's frustrating because you long for that deeper connection, the kind where you can bear your soul and know you'll be understood. But in these superficial relationships, it's like there's an invisible barrier preventing you from getting any closer. You might hang out together, laugh at each other's jokes, but there's always this lingering feeling of emptiness, like something crucial is missing. It's not just about the words exchanged, it's also about the actions or lack thereof. You might notice that they never seem to make an effort to check in on you or offer support when you're going through a tough time. It's like they're content to keep things casual, never wanting to invest too much emotionally. Recognizing the superficial bonding can be tough, especially when you crave a deeper connection. But it's important to acknowledge it for what it is and decide if it's enough for you. Do you want to settle for surface-level interactions? Or do you deserve a relationship where you can truly be yourself? By understanding the signs of superficial bonding, you give yourself the power to choose the kind of relationships you want to nurture. Don't be afraid to seek out connections that fulfill you on a deeper level, where you can share your joys, sorrows, and everything in between. You also have to keep an eye out for their absence and crucial moments. In any relationship, it's during tough times that true colors shine through. Imagine facing a personal crisis, expecting support from a friend or partner, only to find them strangely absent or offering shallow consolation. This behavior isn't just about physical presence, it's about emotional availability and empathy. It indicates a one-sided dynamic, where one person leans heavily on the other but disappears when the roles are reversed. Such absence not only strains the relationship but also raises questions about its sincerity and value. Facing this reality can be tough, but it's necessary for maintaining your dignity and well-being. It pushes us to reassess the relationship and seek more balanced connections, where support flows both ways. Recognizing these signs is vital, but what truly matters is how we respond to them. Establishing clear boundaries is key. Saying no when needed and communicating openly about your feelings can help maintain self-respect and emotional health. Seeking support from trusted sources can offer perspective and guidance. Every individual deserves respect and reciprocity in relationships. By identifying and addressing imbalance, we empower ourselves to cultivate healthier connections built on mutual respect and effective communication. Remember, your worth isn't defined by how others treat you. It's intrinsic and upheld by how you stand up for yourself in challenging situations. If this resonates with you, consider subscribing for more insights. Together, we'll navigate the complexities of human interactions, fostering understanding and growth. Ultimately, the foundation of enriching relationships lies in recognizing, acting, and respecting both ourselves and others.